booktube nation i'm sam here again with a bear and a bee books and tonight i'm losing light quickly i'm gonna have a couple of readathons in september so i don't know if i'll film a regular tbr i wanted to bring you my mama mia a thon tbr because it starts in the very first week of the month It runs, I believe, from the 1st through the 12th of September. I will leave the link below to the announcement video on um, Shakespeare and such on Julia's channel that I watched. I believe it's also being hosted by Julia, and I will leave um, all their information down below. But um, yeah, let me go over the challenges that I selected and let you know what I'm going to be reading. So um, they have uh, 20 um, challenges and you can either do like five for one of the characters, like for Sophie, for example, and then complete your character or do one book from each of the characters that they've selected. So that's what I'm going to do. So I have four books here to show you. So first for Donna, I'm going to be doing Slipping Through My Fingers, and this is to read a book that you put on a previous TBR and didn't get around to. So totally not my fault, okay? <laughs> there was an ebook library thing. So this was a book I was going to buddy read with my mom. I did on my channel a very modern classic August, and there was like an issue with her ebook in the library, and like they didn't know what happened to it, and she never got it, and anyway, we read... Frenchman's Creek instead. Spoiler. <laughs> but um, so now I want to get to this one because she finally got the ebook situation straightened out. So now I'm going to read this one. So for Sophie, I'm going to be doing What's the Name of the Game? <laughs> anyway, um, yes, I love musicals. I used to watch The Sound of Music over and over and over again when I was a little girl. But anyway, for that one, you have to pick an author whose last name starts the same as my first name. So my first name is Sam, as you all know. And um, if not, hi, <laughs> I'm Sam. But anyway, so I was looking for a surname with an S. So I found this one and I've been meaning to get to this one and it's a little shorter. So it's good for a readathon. I originally saw this on Jen Campbell's channel. I'll link her channel down below. Um, but this is The Faster I Walk, The Smaller I Am. And this is by um, Kirsty A. Scomsvold. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to get to this one. I've had it for a while. It's kind of one of those books that you kind of think about and you think about them being on your shelf and you're like, oh, I really should have gotten to that. And so yes, here it is. Okay, next is for the Dynamos. And for this, I'm doing Take a Chance on Me. <laughs> um, yeah, and this is to read a book with less than 3.5 um, on Goodreads. And for this one, I'm going with Tangerine by Christine Mangan. And um, yeah, I, it's one I've been meaning to get to. I was a little nervous to get to this one because of some of the reviews, but also because um, of some of my own history as a child. I thought that this might be kind of um, triggering, but I do want to read it and um, yeah, it fits. So I'm going to give this one a try. And last is The Dads. And for this one, I'm going to read a book with um, um, multiple points of view or at least two points of view. And for this one, I'm going to finally attempt to get to um, Emily St. John Mandel's Station Eleven. She has a new book that I want to get to, but this one has been on my shelves and I definitely want to read this one first. Um, yeah, I've heard this has multiple points of view. I hope it does. And I've heard it's excellent. It's, um, you know, kind of a post-apocalyptic novel that has to do with Shakespeare. And those two things to me together just sound amazing. <laughs> so hopefully I will be able to get through all these and then I'll be able to tell you more about them because as you can see, I don't always know a whole lot going in, but <laughs> my little one trying to sneak in the camera um but anyway I'm really excited to check these out and I'm <laughs> I'm super 
super excited about this readathon. I'm just gonna be humming the songs in my head like the whole time while I'm reading them, doing the challenges. So that'll be fun. Um, that's kind of how I picked my challenges. I looked at the question and whichever song like was getting stuck in my head, that's the one that I picked. So anyway, thank you both so much for hosting. I'm so excited to be participating. Thanks so much for being here with me today. Farewell for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, mommy heart. <laughs> Bye.